And here the chart for our Vice President, Mike Pence, another specialist in gaslighting, dodging, deflecting, and disinforming, uh, as he keeps in line and in tandem with his boss, who is, of course, the champion in that whole area. Unfortunately, we don't know Mike Pence's time of birth, and so this shows the planets as they would be at noon, and the moon is shown at very late Gemini, which is where it would be at noon. The range, though, would put it all the way back to 23 and a half Gemini or all the way up to six degrees Cancer. The more he is close to the beginning of this range, meaning if he's born close to midnight of that day, the more difficult this is going to be for him because then this Neptune challenge increases uh, quite dramatically. But even without the moon, we know that in the late June period, pretty much around the summer solstice, but it'll take most of June into, into uh, that range as well as uh, parts of July, the early part of July, this station of Neptune will directly square his Mercury and being a Gemini would probably mean a pretty tough time around that period. And things don't really get all that much better going toward the uh, election period because Neptune will then backtrack and station in between Mercury and the Sun uh, close enough to give them both uh, a pretty good swipe and he's going to feel it. Neptune is not particularly friendly because you see it at birth squaring his Venus and Mars. And so on the one hand you could say the deceptions come home to roost since that's the area where Neptune likes to play. And uh, Neptune, as I've said in other videos, is always connected to popularity patterns and when you find it in squares like this you can bet that popularity is going to take a major hit. Not that he's particularly popular um, as it is, but it uh, basically increases the, the tension around uh, a period like this. Uh, I don't really know what these Capricorn planets are doing uh, unless there's an ascendant to link them. It would have to be some kind of cardinal ascendant. Uh, then they would come into play, but we don't know what that is. Um, the only other thing I can think of is that Saturn will make a station right there in early Aquarius uh, through most of the uh, late spring and into early summer. And that is a bit of a tricky point because uh, from there it makes a sesky square to his sun. So it's going to add to the tension and it simply means that, uh, you know, times are, times are tough for Mike and uh, that they're not likely to be easy at all during uh, 2020.